Well, the House of Representatives yesterday voted to repeal what Republicans have called the death tax, the inheritance tax. Currently, the U.S. estate tax on inherited assets is about 40 percent. That's nearly three times the average of other Democratic countries. But here's how the president described the effort to repeal it, to get rid of it. A new $270 billion tax cut for the very wealthiest of the wealthiest. It would affect about 5,000 families all across America. It would cost $270 billion. My view is we don't need tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires. I don't need a tax cut. Okay, well, how will your heirs feel, Mr. President? Uh, in the future, uh, Republican Congressman Steve Scalise is the House Majority Whip and has been at the forefront of the uh, uh, effort to repeal the death tax. He joins us live. Great to have you, Congressman. Great to be with you. Uh, you know, the president's always talking about fairness. It's not a fair tax. You are taxed when you make money. Why get taxed on that same money again when you die? Well, Steve, the president doesn't think that you built this business, and, and it's just a disconnect uh, between liberals who literally think this is the government's money. And the most important thing to remember is uh, these small business owners, these are family businesses, and they're just trying to pass on the American dream to their, to their kids. They've already paid taxes on this money, and when they die, the government swoops in and confiscates another 40 percent of that business uh, just for you to keep it. The president is always talking, and those on the left are always talking about fairness. Uh, we did a Fox News poll on whether you thought the inheritance tax was fair, and 71 percent of you say it is unfair. It would seem to me, Mr. Scalise, that all you'd have to do is uh, query your colleagues across the aisle and say, uh, go talk to your constituents. Do they think right. it's fair? Because it's not. Right. Hardworking taxpayers get it, and that poll reflects what we've seen is that people understand that whether or not you own a small business, if you want to create your own small business and you work hard and you build it up and you pay taxes on it along the way, if you die, you should be able to pass it on to your kids without having the government come in and confiscate it. And Congressman Kevin Brady from Texas, who brought this bill to the floor yesterday, made some impassioned speeches. And we, are, we heard so many compelling stories of people who shared stories of people who had to sell their family business just to pay the death tax. So it has passed the House. It goes to the Senate. You need at least six Democrats who are... You know, they agree and they say it's not fair. But you, heard, you have heard some on the political left say essentially the government is entitled to that money. That's exactly what they say. They really think this is the government's money uh, when, when somebody dies. I mean, the first thing that happens when your loved one dies, you should be worried about grieving and, and, and making burial plans. A lot of families have to sit around that kitchen table and figure out whether or not they have to sell the family business just to pay the 40 percent the government's going to try to confiscate from the death tax. It's morally wrong to have this in place. It's time for it to be repealed. Let's have that debate. I got some friends out in Kansas who have farms who have had that conversation, and it's not pretty. Absolutely. All right. I hope you guys can uh, do something about We're it. We're going to push it. Because it is not fair. Email us, friends at foxnews.com. All right. Steve Scalise, thank you. Great. All right. Uh,